Good evening, folks. Hopefully we have um, Declan Brown with us tonight. And um going to chat with him now. We missed him the last day. Uh, to no fault of anybody's really. Just a, a lack of a connection there with him up the country. Uh, so hopefully he'll be in with us tonight and we'll have a good old chat about stuff. Um, I think he's... he's um, going to move from wherever he was the last night in here and we'll have a connection with him tonight hopefully there'll be a bit of wi-fi going so we'll have a chat with Declan about all things Tipperary and all things GA and all things what's happening right now with the clubs and all that um so I'm just waiting for him there now Johnny Long Hall is in well done Declan Brown is in Johnny's just kicking off his day out in America now, hitting a few golf balls or... <laughs> Waiting for Declan. <coughs> I don't see, think we have a problem tonight. Be Christ if we do. Oh boy, there he is. That's my... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, out, I'm out of the book. I'm out of the borough. <laughs> <laughs> sorry for the hassle, boy. I know you, so. had to, you had to go into the office for it now, did you? Yeah, yeah. Apologies for, for last Friday night. Though, it's not at all, boy. Not at all. There was no panic. Um, I was on, I actually stayed on for about half an hour. I was chatting away, talking shite, as the man says. Um, so, how are things with you? I didn't even start the last night, Declan. What, what, like, the obvious question for everybody is, what, how was lockdown and kids and like work and all that for you like is, is it something that you're kind of seeing the, the light at the end of the tunnel or how was it at all for you well i was lucky i suppose tomorrow so i was working away the whole time so um but for the kids i suppose after a few weeks they kind of got used to it They're, i suppose they were craving their own friends friends you know and unlike us years ago tomas when we were off school we were delighted now but you know, the kids nowadays they love being in school and they love their their friends you know but um that was tough times you know there's no there's no doubt about it but Again, it was unprecedented, so I suppose we just had to um, learn as we went along. But um, yeah, scary, scary times, you know. So, but hopefully, it looks like we're we're coming Things to the end of it. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. The, and uh, I'm looking out the window here, like the fucking evenings are getting shorter already. I mean, yeah. it's depressing, like, but it actually is, like, even though the longest day of the year hasn't landed yet. Yeah. Um, did you miss sport, Declan? In general, like, like, did you? Are you a sportsman? At, like, do you watch golf? Do you watch? Are you into racing? What, what other sports would you well, be into? I'd watch anything, Tomas, you know, so it's, um, but it, it's a nice in the break too, you know, obviously coaching teams and I'm chairman of my local ladies football club as well and coaching underage girls. So um, I, I'd be honest with you, I, I, I enjoyed the break and, you know, obviously we're looking forward to getting back again, but it's, um, yeah, the break was very good. But uh, again, I suppose for the mental side of things, we need to get back doing something, you know, just yeah. to get back out on the pitch or back something. So, Again, like luckily enough, we, we seem to turn the corner small, but you know, the, the fact that you're chairman now of the ladies does that mean that you're in charge of a lot of stuff that's coming, say, organizing <laughs> all the teams coming back? That's that's the thing, you know, that's the <laughs> the book, <laughs> yeah, the book, the book stuff. I was kind of hoping 2021 would be the would be the target, but um, <laughs> again, it's again, it's unprecedented to us. It'll we can't go back to this, right? And that's the way I'm kind of saying, like, the 29th of June is probably. A, a date that's been given to everyone, but that doesn't mean you have to go back on the 29th. Like things, because if things go wrong here, you know, the book stops with the chairman. I'm only a small fry, like a ladies club, but imagine the bigger clubs around the country, you know, it's it's not going to be easy. So um, it'll be interesting to see how we'll all, we'll all handle it. Do you think any players will actually say, do you know what, I'm not going back at all. I have a, I have a grandmother at home there, or yeah. my dad has an underlying issue and I'm not going to go back at all. Like, and Have you heard of any of that stuff, Dick and Not Is it a worry? Not yet, but I think it's, it is a worry, Smash, you know, because like, I was only talking to a colleague of mine this morning, like if you take there's a club match next week or t in five or six weeks' time and, and the testing is still there and some club has three or four chronic asthmatics or something like that, you know, they're not going to play. Or Again, they're saying, they're saying it's um, for over 65s or 70s, it's not um, feasible for it to go to matches or it's not safe. But how is it safe for the likes of myself, yourself, to to do that and go back to our parents or back to our grandparents. So I just think it's, it's great that it's all moving on, but I just, I think there's a, a lot more thought to be put into it yet. Yeah. I mean, like well, initially when the GA said, 
Like I, a month ago, and a month is a long time. Like when you think about it, right yeah. now. But a month ago, I couldn't see that. I couldn't no. see what, no. what everything that was going on around the world, what everything that was happening everywhere else, what everything the experts were saying. I says, "Jesus Christ, it's yeah. going to be a long winter without football." Yeah. But then they they said the football is back, right? And I t- I got a fucking surge in. Like I thought, this 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 is great life. But already, right? They have this split, kind of more or less half and half for the club yeah. and the inter county, right? Yeah. But I'm hearing already today that counties Inter- are going to have their club finals at the end of September, even yeah. into the time that they were supposed to be given in October. So county managers are already calling the shots in terms of yeah. what clubs do. It's not going to go down well no. like, with, with the CPA and with, with other with, with club players. Like. Yeah. Well, you know yourself, Tomas, like, and you know the way the county, the county setup works. Like It does dictate... Um, and, obviously, and more so now because of the time and the effort and the commitment that goes into it. But like if they're going to, I think now is an ideal opportunity for the GA to actually sort this club mess out um, and see. And maybe it is knockout. I don't know what way they go. But like if county managers start taking club players, it's, it's going to it's, it's going to cause war. Um, and it should cause war because now is the I said it's the ideal time to say, you know, let's get some bit of structure in the club scene because again, I will you see when when I retire from county, and you're probably the same the way. The club scene is, is shambolic. You know, it's yeah. it's shite. It's shite. You know, and that's the that's the bottom line. Like, so you don't realize until you're actually no, gone no. how badly they can yeah. they're being treated. Like, yeah. really, as such like you can't yeah. plan anything. You don't. No. It's a farce, really, isn't it? Even for yeah. the club managers, like, yeah. to even time your run for it. Like, you were managing the. Are you still involved with twenty ones and hip? No, no, no. I I, I had one year there in um in sixteen. Um, sixteen, right? Yeah, to to. So the old farm, it was the winter winter football, and then it kind of came back into the summertime under twenty. Then the following year, and I mean petty, sound petty, but like the, the summertime just didn't suit me with kids and holiday. Like this, like you said, they are planning stuff. It just, yeah. I wasn't willing to give time to that, and then have to say cancel a family holiday or something like that. I you know, know what and you're saying, yeah. then then the shit starts. So it's it's not, um, you know, it wasn't ideal. So I kind of stepped away from it. So, um, but I, I was I was managing Grey Bally Callan Hurland there for five years and I'm kind of and we kill Rossity in Waterford this year so you know it's, it's, it's challenging times like Jeez, I didn't realise at all like that um, i come to the hurling in a second now but let's just stick with the with the like so you were there what year did you first play with Tip in the senior level uh, 96 I was minor the same year yeah right yeah. so you managed uh, under 21s there in the last few years and even at under 21 level there's probably a good step up to senior level in terms yeah. of professionalism and everything in the background yeah. But like guaranteed, your setup for Tipperary '96 doesn't compare to what you had probably at under 21 level in terms of the backroom no. squad or stats. Or no. do you think, Declan, that it's kind of and it's very hard to say? Oh, you can you should row it back. There's no rowing back, really. I, I can't think it's know. Very hard. Where is the line? Like they passed it long ago. Like without a doubt, you know. And and the players know this from what they crave this. They this is what they this is what they want. Whereas. Like if this COVID thing happened in my time, three months after in, I'd be, I'd be thrilled, I'd be delighted, <laughs> you know. So and that's the way it is. But now you can be guaranteed that all county players looked after themselves over the three months. You know, it's it's completely different. And if a county player craves this to us, like you have to provide it, and that's where the cost comes in. And you know, I'd hate to be like as I said, I got a taste of the done twenty ones, and the managing side of it, trying to tell people that you're not on the squad or you're, 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 you're not in the panel today or this and that. It's, it's, it's hor- horrible. Absolutely yeah, horrendous. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I wasn't ready for that, to be honest with you. So that kind of turned me off a bit of the, the inter-county scene. Like, obviously, if you're maybe if you're an outsider going to a different county, you could call the shots and throw the, you know, throw the shots then. But when you're inside and you know and you're close to everyone, I just found that very hard, you know. So, but as, as regards to like, the professionalism now, it's, I'm glad I'm gone. I'm glad I'm long yeah. gone because it's yeah. just... It's, it's, you've no life to us but then again you sign up to it and that's the that's the thing you have a choice to do it or not to do it but it's oh, it's tough going now compared to our time you know it's, it's you enjoyed going. you enjoyed your your inter-county career that you had an unbelievable career like and the accolades you got outside of it and playing with Munster and playing with Ireland and all that but do you like how long did you have at an inter-county level did you like did you feel pressure on you the fact that you were the main man Tipperary every time, like every time you went out, every team had a plan for you. Did you find that hard, like, or did you get frustrated? I, I, well, I was frustrated, all right, more times after drawing <laughs> Kerry, more times, but uh, Jeez, we drew you that, didn't we? <laughs> we did, we did, we did. But I, I've honestly, like, I never, I never felt pressure, like, I always, 
I backed myself, I trusted myself, and I was never cocky, but if I went out and scored 1-5 in a game, great. If I scored nothing and held, it, it didn't bother me. I just, you know, you went out again the next day. But, like, when I started off, like, the before you even came, you came along, Darrow would know, like, the likes of Peter Lambert, Brian Burke, Jerry Foley, John Owens. I played with some smashing players, but yeah. we just got knocked out in the first round. And that was, you know, that was the hard part of it every time, knockout. And I heard you talking to Kieran Sheen the other night about knockout. It's, you know, it's brilliant. But, like, when you get yeah. knocked out in the first round, Every time you draw, like we were in waiting for the draw in September, October to the old format. You played national three national league games before before Christmas, but the draw was all, all, always made before Christmas. And you're there waiting, hoping that Jesus not carrying again, yeah, 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 or yeah, something. Yeah. Just get some sort of a run, like because I said it's a you know I've, I played for twelve seasons, I played twenty five championship matches, so it's you know it's a poor return for for that, no, you know. I'm, but saying the one you, you got there, you didn't see Rackle Cork in a monster final. Yeah. What year was that? In O two. No, too, yeah. you know. Um, we were well good. Enough. We were the better team on the day, the first day, no, no doubt. But you know, you know yourself, Cork were probably in a bit of turmoil with Larry at the time. I know what was going on behind the scenes, but just things weren't right, and we kind of caught him the first day. But by God, they, <laughs> they gave us some hammering the replay below in the park, and um, the following week, you know. So, but yeah, that that's I always said when I stopped playing Tomas that I, you know, very little regrets. But when you look back in it, you know that was massive. Munster Middle would have been huge for us at the time, you know. Do you think any format? Do you think like because they brought in the back door, right, Declan? And they brought in the back door, and in my eyes, Jesus Christ, if we lost, I said that's going to make us stronger again. Like, yeah. Do you think yeah. there's any format that could work? And I'm not saying like I'm not thrown down on week ago, but do you think there's any format that could be put in place that would would be would be happy for? Do you think are you happy with the current format, for example? No, no, no. I'm not. Like again, like I would be years. You've asked me three or four years ago before Tip got on. The run and got to the All Ireland semi final. Like I would have said, two tiers. You know, I would be anti it. You know, because yeah. Tip would have been in the second tier. But now it's like it's it's hard to know. Like I, like we want games, and that's the way I I'd look at it. So I would love to see maybe a Champions League format of eight groups of four, four groups of eight, or whatever it is, and player games. And if you get the sh- shite bait out of you in three or four of those games, so be it. But you might have a chance in two or three. Of them. Obviously, you'd be seeded. Or the other side is I would love to see knockout, 32 open yeah. draw and a losers group come in that way and then have your, your secondary competitions. Like. Yeah. So if Tip, if we an open draw and Tip drew Donegal in, in, in Donegal, so be it. Or if, yeah. we, if we drew Watford, you know, you might get a couple of games there as well. So it's, it's not going to be easy, but I think the time, the amount of time players are putting in, the, the amount of games they're getting is, you know, it's, it's sad. Yeah, and it, the provincials, like, I I, I, I a be in my bonnet about them like I don't, no matter what way you look at it Munster and Leinster are totally lopsided like, yeah. and it's, yeah. it's not like the middle of summer Declan you're, you're looking at the pitches the best of weather like and yeah. they're playing not, not meaningless games they're not I wouldn't like they're not they're never meaningless because like, you're training for something all yeah. the time but Jesus in the height of the summer like you know you want to be training um, can I jump flip totally totally to the because uh, I was talking to a fella today and he says, um, he brought the club down to Paddy's tournament, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I was hoping <laughs> you <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't bring that up. <laughs> but you brought the club down and the rumour is it, because you don't drink a pint, right? No. The rumour is it that you drove the bus back yeah. home, did you? Oh, jeez. <laughs> not, not home, no, no, no. From... Oh, jeez, some crack to us. We played, I think we played Bishop's on our balling colleague among the games. There's a right dust up in it now. It was... <laughs> But uh, you know yourself now that the crack gets uh, on those it. bishop sound fellas are awful, <laughs> awful stuff. I know. I, <laughs> but in, in, in parties, you know, it all, it's all forgotten about. But the Friday night, we were down the bus, and the Friday night, the bus driver was. He said, "I don't care how you get home tomorrow night. I ain't driving the bus." So that was grand. <laughs> but anyway, the games were on, and the, and the session started at three o'clock in the morning. We still in parties, and next minute, how are we want to get back to? We were staying on the outside of Dingle. Yeah, so I said, thirty-two it was seat, five six miles. Like. What is that? Thir- thirty-two seater. Mini bus there, and I said, Lord Jesus. So, grand as I'll drive it. So, I went out, and do you think I could start to Tomas? Not, uh, <laughs> you know, but there was a special button at the side of it you had to press. But lucky enough that the bus driver came conscious, and I was able to press the button and start it off. And on, on into Dingle, and getting into Dingle, and next we were staying in the B&B. And I said, The, 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 the entrance to the gate was only, oh, Jesus, the, the width of the bus. I said, How, <laughs> how am I going to drive this in? So anyway, we got in. We got him home safe. But it's just, <laughs> just some, some crack. You some probably crack. had plenty of helpers in the back of the bus that would have driven oh, it as well for you. Oh, Jesus would. That's, that was the problem. So, 
But then, like you said, it was, it was great, great, great weekend. Absolutely brilliant. Do you time. think, like, that's the club scene, like, even at the club level now, that can I see it kind of going a little bit serious at times as well. But then, like, and I was with Nemo for a couple of years, and obviously the girl took but you love playing it because it's not at the serious level. Yeah. Like they take it serious and championship is championship and the preparation yeah. is a lot better than it was. But there's still that crack in that kind of, yeah. you yeah. know, the same level of, of, you won't say not enjoyment, but there's a great crack with the club, isn't there? Ah, it is. And it's a pity it's so, it's so condensed into the wrong time of the year again. I, like I remember growing up, even starting off senior football in the club, like you had, you had seven, six or seven divisional games. Then you won your division. You went on to play your county championship all through the, the summer, you know, and you're playing your county final. Then you're looking forward to that. But um, I, I got to be honest with you, Tomas, I retired from my Rovers in, in 2012. I was only 34. I just lost all, I lost all love as the whole lot. And then four years later, I kind of realized, geez, I, I missed this. I went back playing junior B and, <laughs> the crack, just the, the crack in the social side of it, you know, it's set up to play an intermediate this year and, and, and again, you know, so I just missed the, the balls yeah. and the crack and the, and the dressing room, but it's, it is great, but like, even at club level, it's gone, it's gone to a degree, but it's all dictated to by the, the county set up, which is unfortunate. If you have six or seven on a, on a county squad, you know, you're, 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 you're peeing against the wind for a lot of the summer yeah. in, the, in the club, you know? Uh, it's like, Jesus, you could talk about it all night, like, yeah. and, can I ask you about when you were growing up and when you were young? Were you shooting the lights out? And was it football or hurling, Declan, from the word go? Did you have a, a, a draw? You were, I'm going to come to the hurling now in a second. And yeah. you were brilliant at the hurling. But was it always football for you? Oh, it was, Tomas, because, you know, a lot of, like, I, where I was born and where I was, you know, reared and grew up was, was a, a little village called Clarehan. It was hmm. up to 2005. It was probably the only parish, I think the only parish in Munster that had no um, J club. They had in the 60s and the 50s. My grandfather and I would have played, but we had no um, J club. So we all played with my Rovers. It was four, four miles over the road. Um, we got picked up, collected. Obviously, we got, my Rovers were doing their homework and they, they had lads to collect us and bring us to train and all that. So they I knew. started. They knew, yeah. <laughs> well, but I wouldn't know that at that stage, you know. But, you know, so I started at that. But, like, again, I was only chatting to a guy this morning. Like, like my age group in the club, I, I would... Very, have very few friends still playing that would have progressed even to senior. We were always playing C, C competitions and we were mullickers, you know. So it was only two or three of us that went on to play any bit of adult, adult football for, for the club, you know. So it was always C, barely B, never A until we got to, we kind of made a breakthrough in senior in 95 and then it, it kicked on from there, you know. So, but growing up, it was just, it was always it was football or hurling to us or even soccer inside in town. It wasn't basically whatever it was because the commitment to anything back then was, 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 you know, you train twice a week and you had a game at the weekend. It wasn't that spectacular. So you'd be able to manage everything. But obviously, my Rovers is, is, was a predominantly football club. So it was always football, yeah. And yourself, like, in terms like, we all know the skill set that you had. Every time we played Tipperary, most of our team talks were, were about you before it, right? So how did you kind of, like, is it your cliche of outside in the back garden? How did you, or who did you... What drove you as a young fella and how long did you spend at it and what did you do, Declan? Well, I just did, uh, like any young fella, Tomas just enjoyed it, you know, yeah. the crack. And obviously we didn't, uh, and looking back on this, I didn't grow up in, the, in a winning mentality or win, winning formula. So you kind of you kind of gain or, 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 or grow the hunger as you go along and the desire then comes at minor or under 21 level when you see a probably a lot of teams, even in Kerry and Cork, that they have so much success at underage that they're gone at minor. So I was kind of the opposite of that, that, you know, that kind of drove me on. And obviously, you know, you realise when you're making county squads, you, you know, that desire to, to get the best out of yourself. You know, I was a lazy whore running around the field. I, I have no problem saying that. <laughs> Laps didn't, you know, just didn't bother me. It didn't interest me. It didn't suit you. <laughs> didn't suit me, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I, I was always, you know, you shoot points or, you know, the more shots of goal you get to train. And, and even as from an underage or young age, underage, kicking my left leg, you know, and that was... You know, I always practice that every night and obviously you get better and better in that. And that obviously then as you get to senior, you know yourself marking forwards. If you can turn left or right, it's it's that bit harder to mark you, you know. So they are they're little things like they sound a bit petty or child, but that's the way I was. I, I never I had no medals, no winning trophies, nothing at all. It was just a matter of getting the best out, the, uh, out of myself that I could, you know. 
Do you think young fellas don't spend enough of time on their own with a ball and just yeah. kicking and belting yeah. and just... Yeah. Like, that's just, where you... It's the stuff you did outside of the pitch, Declan, that kind of... I won't yeah. say set you apart, but that helped you with that extra kick, like... Yeah, like, obviously, people are there, they're running the roads and they're running the woods and they're doing gym work and all that. That, like, that wasn't me, you know? So, I... Yeah. You know yourself, it's with the footballer at Hurley, you'll, that's where you'll develop and that's where you'll, 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 you'll gain most out of it. We can all... You know, I, I prefer to have the little... Toby Belly than the look look good in the jersey and be able to <laughs> and be able to kick one five rather than running around the place like a blue horse fly not doing that you know and that's and you know you said that's that's what's happening in a lot of you know that your 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 GPS like if I did tracker on the back of mine you know there'd be no need to put batches in it because it just it wouldn't move <laughs> it wouldn't move too far but you know you said team meetings now are all stats and they're all he covered this ground he covered that ground and you know that I think it's a lot of bulls to me for but that's what it is now that's the way you gain gain success and if you get the most out of yourself and if you're in the peak of your, your, your condition and you know it all adds in but to me skill you know and I always quote Colin Corkery below like Jesus yeah. Christ what a, what a man you know yeah. what a man I'd be, he'd be my style of, <laughs> style of player you know so you know I remember him telling me when Tompkins came in right uh, I, Corkery like his brilliant company uh, like, he's crack, absolutely crack, hilarious yeah. right so he, he said that he thought like he had the run of cock, like he's the best kicker. He was unbelievably yeah. hard to stop, like and yeah. he was huge, like, but he was still the best footballer yeah. they had, like, and he was such a threat, like, and he uh, you thought he couldn't move, but he actually could move oh, yeah. so fucking well, like. But when when Tompkins came in, he always used to say Tompkins brought him in for a meeting, and he brought Stephen O'Brien in for a meeting around the same time. And Tompkins was a guy who was going to run the living shit out of him, like yeah. he was going to fit him. <laughs> and uh, Carkery came out, and O'Brien was waiting outside, and Carkery just turned to O'Brien and says. I don't think this guy's for us. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm saying, like, oh, this guy I got to do this, this, yeah. This yeah. is not for us, like, no way. Yeah. Come here, the Hurley, was there ever, <laughs> ever, um, was it put, ever put to you, or was it ever in your own head? It might be better off going out to Hurley, here. Yeah. I know, it, it wasn't, because, again, like you said, times were different back then. Like, it, it was, it was a lot easier to play both. Yeah. You know, you weren't, you weren't, I said, the five nights a week training for one wasn't, wasn't there. So, like, I always played, I made Tony Forrest under 14, Nina Kopp under 16 panels, won an All Ireland minor in 96, yeah. in, in, to me, this in, in 2000, you know. So, um, it was always there for, like, it was GA for me, and that was it. And um, I loved it, I have to say, I, I loved it. It was always, a, it was always a struggle because coming from a junior club was never going to be, it never going to be easy, you know. So, but I loved it, you know, I, I, it was always a challenge. Um, and then when you do make the breakthrough, I remember 96 and the, the minor set up, I was flying early on and I got a bad hand injury. Um, so I kind of lost, lost out there, even, even in the subs, if you know what I mean, coming on. And, yeah. and then in the, in the draw and final, we drew with Galway. Um, I came on, I did okay. And I was flying then after that. And I started the All-Ireland final, the replay against Galway and played the whole match. And, and to me, that made up for everything. You know, that yeah. you, I had worked so hard to, to get to that level and that I was worthy to be to be picked and to be trusted, you know, like I wasn't the best hurlers, no, no doubt about it. But I always felt that even later on at intermediate level, that if there was a chance there, I, you know, I'd take it and yeah. I'd, I'd score. I always, I said, back myself to that. So, but, um, but no, I love, like it was never, it was always going to be football to There's no, there's no point in saying any different, but when the hurling, the hurling chance comes along, especially in tip, you have to, you'd be a fool not to take it and, and try it out, you know? There was like, it's probably different now, Declan, in terms of, of in fairness, teams get, you see it and carry that hurlers. The hurlers get a fair crack at it, right? But when you come in at the start, was there ever a feeling like that geez, the footballers don't get a fair crack at this? Like it's everything, resources are going towards the hurlers and, you know, it's a hurling county, blah, blah, blah. And like, the, did you get that feeling there or who, was it there or did you just put I, up with what was there? Like, it was there, you know, and there's times you, you give out and you, you know, you, you know that the people will be saying those windy bastards, you know, they're always. Yeah. They're always on moan or, or groaning about something, but um, we were a poor relation. But it never, listen, never bothered us to us. But like the only thing is, is I'd always say it: if, if we had a run in in the late nineties in the of the qualifier system, it would be a different story because we'd be yeah. serious contenders, and you'd, you'd you'd be backing up or you'd be making a name for yourself, and you'd be building up a bit of pedigree for yourself as well. But we never got that chance because you, you boys below, you know. Uh, well, we're, we're, do you remember the famous? That night or that day below in Tralee, like Jerry Murphy. Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. Like, I don't know, do people remember that? Like the, the stanchion in Tralee, 
like the goal. I'll always remember the goal yeah. inside in Chile, a funny old goal. Like, so you have your stick, your, your post it's, going up in the crossbar. And a hoop, yeah, and, and a hoop, a yeah. Hoop, right? Yeah. A, a rectangular hoop at the back, at the top of the crossbar. And geez, there was, there was only minutes left, that clinch. That was yeah. all, wasn't it? But no, it was actually it was minutes just, be, just before half time, Tomas. We was were, it just before yeah, half time? Sorry. We, but we what, were, did we, what did you win? Or what did we win by six, in the end? Six in the end. Six. Yeah. Um, but like we, we were down at the very end, like. Yeah, but like that. Yeah. That was probably the, nail, the final nail in the coffin because we kind of realised and our county board didn't give two shades about us. Um, you know, because I was captain the same year. I was having a nightmare, a stinker the same day on Mike McCarthy. You know, Mike, bit oh, of a rat, a bit of a rat. Mike was, Jesus <laughs> Christ, he's sticky you know, like a limpet. Oh, Lord, Jesus. I never, I never touch you. <laughs> Underestimated, like, how yeah. good he was, like. Yeah, oh, stop, he was class. Um, but I remember we were, like, we were chatting. I, I saw it from below, the far end of the field. And we're yeah. sitting, Jesus well, Christ, like, the umpire well, even nearly had to, to duck to go out of the way, you know? <laughs> and then, I shouldn't be laughing, like, but for the people yeah. who don't know now that are listening, yeah. the ball ricocheted on the outside of the post, yeah. what it like, and yeah. hit the corner of the stanchion yeah. and came straight back out. Back to Jerry, back to Jerry, And even the yeah. angle yeah. that he came back out, yeah. there's no way it could have yeah. been a goal. Yeah. And your man no. put up the green flag and it stood like. Yeah, like he fell back into Jerry's lap. Like, you, 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 couldn't, you couldn't have sent away for a better oh, pass back um, into it. Jerry didn't really admit it. He didn't, he, <laughs> no. I'd say he actually did a celebration. Oh, no, I, did he? Yeah, no, he didn't. No, no. <laughs> I, what, I can, what I can understand is, you know, Philly Ryan, Philly in the goal. How, yeah. would, you know, how the umpire walked out of the pitch that day, I'll never know because Philly would clobber you at the best of times. <laughs> but, um, but we went in at half time, Tomas. Um, we weren't coming back out. That was yeah, genuine yeah. now. And we, we thought, you know, and Kerry were back out. I'd say there was 10 minutes. There were a fair few slaps on the, on the door to, yeah. to come back out. But, we said no, and you know, obviously the, the county board kind of got the better of us, and we said, "Geez, we'll give this a right rattle, and we'll we'll try and turn this around." But so we're never we're never going to recover from that. But that, that in hindsight, is, in hindsight, you think you should have stayed inside. Stayed, yeah, it was, it was live yeah. on television. It was live on television. It was you know, it, yeah, it would have messed everything Jesus up. Jesus Christ! You know, so and like and the other side of it is, you know, and like I, I've often said to a few of the Kerry lies, like if the shoe was on the other foot, yeah. you know, what would have happened? And that's no disrespect to Kerry, but. I know, you know it wouldn't have it wouldn't have and it's like it's like loud and me that day in, yeah. in, in Crow Park you know those people you might laugh and we'll joke about it but like for us that was our year mm. gone it was a year yeah. gone and because it was a pure knockout that time wasn't it again yeah you know so yeah. it was it was it was it was yeah it was disappointing but like when you don't have the backing of your your main guys it's, it's it really yeah. it really shows you then what what you're doing for but then again you know we, we did because we loved it too you know I know, yeah. And Cum was Cummins there at that time he was as well, wasn't he? He was in 19... I don't think in 99, no. He wasn't in 99. Um, he was there he in would 19... have made it, Declan, wouldn't he? Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, but look at... When you're five all there's a couple of all in your back pocket know, and the yeah. hurling as well. It, you know, but again, it, it was... You know, it was probably total opposite to me. It was always going to be hurling for Brendan and, and, and Rhodes versus for me, you know. But um, again, it's, it, it's, it's like that, Tomas. We need all those players. And we needed them, yeah. and we still and we still do need them. And you can fast forward that to Peter Atchison, Colin O'Reardon, all these guys. Yeah, we need everyone. I was going to ask about them. Atchison you know? was as good as I saw yeah. in yeah. Sigerson below, yeah. like uh, yeah. phenomenal. Like he was the kind of fella that wouldn't, geez, you wouldn't beat him. Like there was no, no end to him. Like no, no, no he's end. mad, he's mad, like mad, mad crack, mad for the crack, the whole lot. Yeah, and a, and a bowl, a bowl bastard too when it when it, when it comes <laughs> to. But, but by Morgan God, had great time. <laughs> was he able to back it up, to Tomas? There was no yeah. like. No one messed with him because well, he like, just we he dropped you like. like I was complaining there, and I, I had Kieran Sheen, and I was kind of saying like, you know, like, Jesus, like we're like success or whatever, like, but you still want to beat Dublin and you want to get on top, so therefore everybody's important. And like to Mark O'Connor, whoever leaves or yeah. whatever, and you say, Jesus Christ, he's a guy we could have done with now, like yeah. Colin O'Reardon and yeah. Atchis, and like yeah. O'Reardon would have been some talent as well for you, like. Oh, like he was the man. He was. D man, you know, yeah. and I say everyone shed a yes. sound, solid young yeah, fella. Like. Yeah. Everyone shed a tear when he and again you can't blame him like he's making a name know, for himself. Yeah. And it's and I would hats off to anyone like that. But yeah, when you're just making a breakthrough and he's your he's your marquee player, it was you know, it was a tough one. But um but like you're you're losing those those kind of the players and we can't replace him and never will replace him. So um and you're saying you're hoping they come back and all that, but you know, it's it's not going to happen. Yeah. The the the, yeah, and it's it's look, it's just the way it's going. Like, and and I don't know. Hopefully, the all positive out of the COVID nineteen is it? It'll slow yeah. that stuff down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, what was I going to say? The All Stars, Declan, was it? Was that a huge honour for you? A huge honour for the family, for the club, even for the county? Like you got the first All Star, yeah. Tipperary ever got in football, and yeah. to do it as you said, with with Kerry being what they were doing and a knockout football, it was some achievement. Yeah. Like, well, I suppose in in, in ninety eight, Tomas knockout probably suited me in that in that respect, Nick, because we got to the monster final in ninety eight. Um, like I ended up top scorer in the in the, chap- the whole championship that year as well. So that. That kind of, you know, that added to the, the little list if it were going to get one. But it never, it can never play in my mind. I Listen, I wouldn't hand them back for a sec, any, anything yeah. to Tomas, but they were never to be all and end all for me. But as you go on in, in your career and you realise you're not going to win too many medals, you know, selfishly, it's, it's, nice, to, it's nice to get it. 98 was special because I was only, I was only 20. You know, I suppose I didn't realise what, what much of a, or how much of a hullabaloo it caused in, in the county, you know, it was great. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you know, three then, it's funny enough, I, I thought I had a better year in 02. Um, you know, three, I got one at wing forward. Imagine you, imagine you marking me a wing forward now. Imagine that. I'd be tearing <laughs> up. You, you, know, you, you, you wouldn't I give in to me. <laughs> if I saw it, oh, I, I could see it happening and I'd say, I'm on the other wing. Now. <laughs> uh, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't keep into my pace and my up and down, up and down the field, but I won it at wing forward and, you know, I, 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 I'm on record saying it like it was an insult to the other wing forwards because I, I'm, I'm a fella that if I'm up against Morris Fitz or Gooch in the corner and if I'm not good enough to win it in the corner so be it that's the yeah. nature of the draw but for me winning it at 12 no it's great don't it get me wrong right, like, it wasn't right it wasn't yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and everyone even knows me like, like I'm the laziest fella to go on when it comes to the laps and the tracking back and all that so like wing forwards there was no doubt at the same time Declan the argument would be that you were in the top six forwards in the country as well like so yeah you, you, you know, could but in that that the joys of competition to, like That'd be like you getting us at centre field or wing forward, you know, just to fill a gap. So it's not. Yeah. I, I know that's. Like Brian Howard got one. He like yeah. he playing. He, yeah. he got it at centre back or whatever. Yeah. Like, and yeah, there is some. You know, it was, Sean, but, was it was a Colin Cavanagh was full back or something nominated full back some one year as well. Like you know, it's yeah. things like that are just. I I think they. I won't say they dissed the, the whole selection thing, but I think it's just it should go back. You remember? I you remember my first year was ninety six, and you you the players picked it. You filled out. You got a farm from Power Screen. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. they were they were they were the uh, sponsor, and you got the farm in the post. You sent out your fifteen. You sent it back in, and that's the. Do you reckon that was a better system of doing it? I think so. I think you're, like you're being picked yeah, by your peers then as well, Tomas. You know yourself in journalism, and you know you yeah, have your yeah, favorite. Yeah. You have your favorites, and you come across yeah. well with some boys, and you get the vote. So um, you have that one, and we'll give you this one over. Like yeah, you know. So <laughs> like, and I and I said to you, I, I thought I had a better year now too. Um, yeah. But, Saying that, like I said, I won't, I won't hand it back anytime soon. The managers you went through, Declan, at all levels, and I, I'll include Hurling in this because you played Fitzgibbon and you won two Fitzgibbons, yeah. and you were the star of a full forward line that had Satanta, Henry, and yourself. But you were the, you were the fucking man who did the damage, like that's what I heard. Well, I took the belts and I passed it out to Henry for the sack score. <laughs> you <laughs> threw, did the hard work. Threw it out, did the hard work. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, like they were. Ah, they were special times. You know yourself, college times are yeah. brilliant. But we, we were fortunate to have, you know, I, I played with some of the greatest hurlers in, in, in the country at the time. Um, like Henry obviously was just there. But I, I've even said it again on record, like it's, um, I think there was, there was a team picked there for the last, all the Fitzgibbon winning teams in the, in the college. I think there was nine of them and they picked the best 15 out of it. And they, like they left out one man for me. Um, I don't know, I think the best college player I've ever, ever heard of it was Michael Cavanagh from Kilkenny. So you're talking about selection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The selection committee is not that. Like, you get it wrong, and that's that. You're not going to please everyone, but, but I definitely threw that. Like we were beaten by UCC in the in the first final in '98. So we played three in a row, um, but it was a special yeah. special team. And you know you said the crack, even though I never drank, but the crack in college is just ah. It's, it's a special time. competition, isn't yeah. it? And I'm, yeah. I'm fellas listening to me here hopping on every night about him, like, but it is it's dying ah, a slow yeah. death, Declan, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know the, the same interest in there. You remember like the, the crowds that would go to. To, to the matches back then, you take the day off work or the half day off work, you go to, because obviously the Henry Sheffins and the, you know, the, the Eamon Corcoran's of this world were all playing, the Satantas, as you said, they were all playing and they all wanted to see the best, but it was, you know, it was tough going to us, like, it, you know, you got, you got uh, under there and if you weren't able to take it, just tough shit, like, you know, but, um, but like two Fitzgibbons were, they were brilliant and, and we were but as good as, I remember the time, they, sorry, yeah. If you made it at Fitzgibbon, you could make it, you'd make it at inter county level because the best hurlers in the country are playing. Yeah, yeah, you know, and you're playing in the muck and shite as well, you know, so it's, 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 it's even harder again. But I remember the time I think it, it was bandied about in Watford that we'd entered the, into the Watford 
championship, the hurling championship. Yeah. That was fairly knocked on the head. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that never, that never got to go ahead. So, and come here to me. Uh, did the when you got picked then? How many tours of of Oz did you do, or how many at home? Oh, yes, the first my first one to Oz I made it in '03. Landed in Australia on uh, Sunday evening and got flattened on a Tuesday evening <laughs> in a challenge oh, match. Yeah. Oh, stop. Oh, Jesus. Taking God. hold of it like. Oh, gone. Yeah, gone. They didn't so, send you home like today? I couldn't fly. I had, a, I, had a, I had a foot of bleeding from my top of my tie down to my knee. I think it was a corker or a corky or something they call it. And oh, the, 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 the Aussie goalie kicked out the ball over to the left hand side. I'll never forget, left hand side. I was watching the flight of the ball. Lovely. Next minute, bang. <laughs> Out of the blue. Oh, elbow, elbow in the jaw and uh, a dead oh, leg. Geez, so gosh. I'll never forget that Dr. Khan was there. Doc, I said, Dr. Khan, Eamon and Omar Herty were there. And they came running onto the field and I was there holding my jaw. I thought my jaw was at the other side. Of, I thought me <laughs> broken in two. But I said, I can't, I can't feel my jaw. So, right, come on, get up. We get up. And I said, I couldn't get up. So if, uh, the dead leg was just so severe. But it was a foot of bleeding tomorrow. That was, oh, Jesus Christ. So, so in fairness to Dr. Khan, I think there was a few injections there in the bag somewhere they got them anyway and um i spent a week in bed in you know that's why best way oh, party joyce and Jesus. i'd say joyce was in the room with you that's then, yeah, yeah, and i suppose yeah, yeah. Not, not not nice. sure he was coming in at all hours anyway didn't, didn't give a shit yeah not to no. shit no 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 let me start <laughs> let me start but no they all they all looked after me you know but that was you know and i was actually flying that time to us i was really looking forward to it and you know, I was, I there was, was some good teams there that time. Definitely yeah. the best of footballers. Was mining yeah. on that trip? Uh, no, no. Like you'd, you'd Sean <laughs> Hogue, you'd, you'd, you know, you'd Joyce, you'd McGeaney, you'd, you'd all these lads. And for me to be part of that was, was huge. And back then, like it was, you, you had to take a half day Friday, you trained for half Friday, you trained Saturday. And it was the old, it was the old system, the old road, no motorway. You're going up to all the, the shitty towns, you know, to get to, yeah. get to Dublin, get to Ballymun for training. So it was, there was a lot of effort put into it. And, you know, if I could have flown home straight away, you know, I, I would, but I, I aim in a fair instrument and Con would got me into a, an oxygen chamber for the try and get back for the following week. But like I was out for six months when I came home. Um, it was just, it was that you severe. Were out for six months after? Yeah, yeah. Christ it was just, oh, yeah. Gosh, that was a severe. And it was mad the way it worked out. You know, we, we flew home two days, I think three days there. I was right sick of it at that, at that time. And I flew home with Cormac, Cormac McAnallen, you know, and like six oh. months later, he was, you know, he was gone. So, it was a point of perspective, like that, yeah, it? yeah. But like I was, you know, I was really looking forward. And then the following year, you know, four, I was, I was crippled with injuries. And to be, to be fair to Pete McGrath, he was manager, and he gave me a, he gave me a turn now. And in fairness, to me, he didn't have to. I was, you know, I was, I wasn't right at all. And I got twenty minutes against the, against the Aussies in Dublin. Remember, it was the, I think the big dust up, big row as well with Gerrity as well and all that. So it was one of those, you know. What so did I, you make of that aspect of it, like? Because when you look at it, Declan, right? And they'll talk, like you can say it's not her sport, or you can say it's not their sport either, like or whatever. But a lot of people went to see the dust yeah. like. Yeah. That was yeah. it, like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just are... like Garrity and all that, like. And I was out in Oz in two thousand five, and Chris Johnson went absolutely bizarre yeah. out there. Yeah. And you're looking at this, and you're saying, yeah. and they're big men, Dick, yeah. and they're, that was oh. the thing, like they're bigger oh. than us, like yeah. you know, oh. you wouldn't oh. back away from them, but at the same time, oh, just, I would. <laughs> She is. I wouldn't bait myself. I wouldn't bait me out of a paper bag to myself. So, you know, the side, you said this. I remember, I actually remember tackling one of them, two tackles. In, they were legal tackles and they were late after the ball, but they're like hitting this brick wall trying to, trying to tackle him, you know. So I said, you know, I was kind of glad. And I always remember the gooch saying, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't for him. Like, if you're not good in the knuckles and you can't mind yourself, you have no business. <laughs> I'll tell you a good one about the gooch. We were on the bench and uh, we were kind of going in and out and. This in 2005 outside in Perth, I think it was, and uh, Chris Johnson went berserk, and he he was he was a hardy boy, you know. To be fair to him, he was cleaving all around him, yeah. and he was actually leaving fellas on the ground, and he was inviting fellas to come in, Oof. like. And I was sitting on the bench looking at this, and the Gooch was on my right hand side, and Con was on the Doctor Con was on the other yeah. side, and he turns around to Doctor Con, he says, um, "In concuss, like, you know." <laughs> and I'm looking at this, and I'm turning to the Gooch, and I says. Hey, boy, you do realise that you actually have to get a hit to get him <laughs> <don't> you? <laughs> Afraid of shit, yeah? Oh, jeez. But, like, he was, like, the Gooch was slighter than me, you know, so you can imagine what they'd do to him. Like, it's... Uh, but the Gooch went over with the reputation that he was yeah. the greatest footballer, yeah. and, and they knew, where is this fella? And they saw yeah. him, and they oh, you're fucking... And they'd, know, and they'd know that, yeah. Yeah, they'd know that, yeah. I remember, I remember, actually, we went out after one of the games, and Barry Hall, remember Barry Hall? Oh, jeez. He came yeah, into the, the pub, all large, all large, yeah. oh, Lord, Jesus, the size of <laughs> 
So, you know, so you're better off. <laughs> it's you nice can to have get it, the, you can have the ball. Yeah, it's nice to get the jersey, yeah. <laughs> Come here, the managers you had down the years, Declan, who stands out for you? I had a lot of them. Why? I had a lot. I had, like, if I go through it, I'd say I must have played under 96. It's James McCarthy, 97. Paddy Morrissey, 98. Colin Brown, twi- two years, 99. Colin o- was 99 was... Uh, but Colin Brown, 98, 99, 2000 was Colin Flaherty, 2001, 2003 was Tom McGlinchey, Andy Short, all 04, Seamus again in 05 and 06, John Owens in 07. So we had no, there was no continu- continuity no there. No fluidity, like, no. do you think that stood against you? Without a doubt, yeah, without a doubt. It was just, it was just one of those things, like, obviously, Seamus McCarthy, you know Seamus. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, super, right. super guy. I act was, and like, he was probably, he gave me my chance Day one, and he was there. Obviously, we won the Tommy Murphy Cup. Um, special guy for me in, in every way, not even just his football, just outside of it. And a great mentor. You could ring him anytime, or you can chat to him, and you'd get the, the soundest of advice. You know, you'd always have. Yeah. You you'd probably yeah. same with Billy Morgan or something like that. You know, you'd have, mm-hmm. you'd have fellas like that. You to to go to men. You know, but um, like Colin Brown came in 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 ninety eight and ninety nine. Like, and he was one serious dude. You know, um, yeah. from Leash. I remember the first night of training. Um, myself and Niall Kelly. You remember Niall? He played full back for two yeah. and playing goal. But hardly boy, yeah. Yes, and we were up at the front. How we were up at the front, I don't know. For the start, <laughs> two, two, a, two a, trying to impress. But off we go for. I think we trained in Art Finn and it was nine, nine eight hundred meters starting off. And I said, oh, geez, did he set the tone? Um, <laughs> you know. So he got. And fair as we got to Munster final that year, and the following year he was there with the Kerry, with Kerry with the goal that that was. And you know, so we had. Like and then a lot of people don't know either in in oh four Tomas with the we give a walk over to Fermanagh in oh, the yeah. in the in the qualifiers like that's you know that's yeah yeah it's a disaster that's not right like yeah it's not and again it goes back to your your county board and not to be dragging them up but like my Hall Webster he went down to play hurling after us was playing a, a club championship match on the Wednesday before we played sat on the Saturday against Fermanagh and they thought that was acceptable and we we kind of said no we weren't doing it and and you know we, they, they they probably thought we were. We were going to back out, but we said no. Rang him a couple of times to say we're definitely not turning up, and we didn't, you know. And yeah. to to this day, it's you know to give a walkover in championship is, right you know, is is not it's not right. But we had to make a stand, and like did the stand work in the long run? Not 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 a thing because that's one thing I I was a member of the GPA, and I, and I always you know I always was, and I supported many time, but you know we got no real no real Actually back in there. Right? Yeah, you know, it's only tips, only qualifier, and that yeah. kind of turned me off. Turn me off to that a small bit. That maybe yeah. it's, maybe it's aimed towards if the bigger it was, guys. If it was a bigger team like yeah. that, yeah. they would have. Yeah, you know, and we would have fenced um, ourselves. You know, like for men, I got to the. I said the All Ireland semi final. Man, I had a huge year that yeah. year. Yeah, and we would have fenced ourselves, good, be, yeah. beating them. You know, so um, so we, in terms of the managers, like obviously Seamus is Seamus is up there, but we didn't get enough of a we didn't get enough of continuity there to to, to strike up big relationships with managers. You know, the way they do yeah. now that there's no four or five year term there. It was always just next manager in, next manager in. And we were going through turmoil, so it was a brave man that would, was going to take it on, you know? Yeah. Do you follow it closely now with the, with the, the prairie set up? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I love it. You know, I do. I love it. And obviously, you'd, you'd have friends involved and, in, you know, with, with Paul Fisher and Shane Stapleton were involved with Liam Kearns um, yeah. for, for, the, for the couple of years. And, and that run we got to in... Um, Kearns was good, was he? Yeah, you know. Yeah. Well, he he some... With Limerick as well, like. Yeah. Yeah. And he was, I won't say he was lucky, but he got like an All Ireland minor winning team, a team yeah. that probably should have won in twenty one All Ireland, um, yeah. and he got those and he he shaped those into into that. And mm. like I was it's funny enough, I was thinking like when we we could have beaten Mayo that day in the sixteen semi final, like if, yeah. if, if Robbie Kylie hadn't got black card. And I was only coming, I was at the All Ireland final and I was coming back and I said, "Geez, if we got to the All Ireland final, we we would have been disgraced, you know." So it I just know, shows yeah. you how close you can get to that to that level, um, and. I always remember the Galway match that year was just was special to be in Crow Park. Like we don't have a massive following tomorrow, so but yeah. there was probably fifteen thousand tip people there, wherever they came from, they came out and it was a special, special day, you know. It was the minors as well, because I've seen you saying um, yeah. I heard you on radio one day and you were saying that the minors just to be there with a minor team lifting an All yeah. Ireland above yeah. in Crow Park and meant the world to you like. Yeah, you know, and like that was in two thousand eleven and you're you're hoping like but you if you recall Tomas before I get back to that, like Kerry and Cork said they couldn't be tipped back in the in the lay in the say the early Aussies or the late the late yeah late Aussies late yeah. 
and, and 10, 11, 12. You know, we had the upper hand and it was a pleasure going to, <laughs> going to matches. Oh, the minor you, teams, yeah. The minor teams, you, you know. You were walloping them, weren't walloping. you? Yeah, we were yeah. walloping. And you're going to games saying, geez, we have a right chance. And we, we, we were going to games saying we'll win this. You know, yeah. so that 11 final, it was, um, you know, to cap it off with the goal. I don't know, do you remember the goal from Cole McKendie? Like the, I do, I know, remember it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheeky, you know, to do what he did was, <laughs> you know. And, and, and that's to me, that, that to me reminded, I won't say reminded me of myself, but he wasn't afraid to miss that. He went for it. He went for yeah. He went for it, and to to do it like that, and the team, you see what the players in the, that, that that Dublin setup went on to do after it. But any little thing like that to us is, is huge for Tip. But like to be, you know, you have a minor to play to play on the All Ireland final day as as eighteen and seventeen year olds is is daunting enough, and then yeah. to to produce the goods is is even better, you know. But it was yeah. it was a spell. I, was, I remember I was in the in the stand with my father in law, and it was just it was just. It was special to see grown men crying, people crying, yeah. the handful that was there. So it was, um, but it, it set us on the road for a good seven or eight years after that, you know? Yeah. Do, 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 you, enjoy, do you enjoy the intercounty, like Kerry, Dublin going at each other? When, like, when it, the top team is now in semi finals and finals, I'm enjoying, I don't know about you, but I'm enjoying it the last three or four years. I think the football has changed. It's yeah. not as freaking defensive as it was. Yeah. And there, yeah. it's, all going forward, even if they're so are hand passing it, they're still going forward. It's a better game to watch. Second, isn't it, it? it is, yeah. It had to, to boss because it was dying. It was absolutely. Yeah. Like, I know you're winning. Excuse me. I know you're winning. They're winning all Ireland's, but you know you're you're not winning the right way. You know, and uh, you go back to the all Ireland goals that we were watching all for the last three months, and people say they wouldn't survive this or that, blah, blah, blah. But it's brilliant just to see someone hoof the ball from wing back up into the, <laughs> you know. And I, I was watching. I know what I was watching the, the Clare and was it all Ireland final of it? With Claire in ninety five, ninety seven, and like Anthony Daly and Liam Doyle and 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 up, who was up in the Wexford line, back getting the ball, and just clearing it, it lamping it, yeah. and I said it's up to you now, boys, up in the forward line to keep yeah. it up there, you know. Whereas I, I I grew up with that, and I I started off my playing days that it's fifteen v fifteen, midfield or the goalie kicks it out, midfielder back first, you win it, it's man on man, forwards, man on man, and yeah. there was never anyone if like if I was on Mike McCarthy or Tomas O'Shea or Mark O'Shea that, you know. I beat him, I have it, you know, whereas there's no one in front of you or behind you, you know, so, but I do enjoy, I do enjoy the battles and obviously the fitness side of things to us is, you know, the dubs are obviously after taking it to a, to a different, different level altogether. You know, yeah, I like, yeah, for a fellow like yourself who used to love it, the training, like, I'd say you'd enjoy it still. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. I love the programs to us, like, but, you know, it's, it's, but like I said, that's the way they're tuned into that, that's the way they are and, Gym work and all that is, you know, dietitians. Yeah. You've, you've every, you've every, you've every corner covered, and every aspect covered, and you've the dietitians available every night, and the nutritionists and the stats, and you have all that. So you might as well, they might as well avail of it, you know. Before I leave you go, Deccan, um, the last question: Who say you tortured so many fellas down the years? Who are the fellas that stood out for you? Your time, like you know, say the cornerbacks that stood out for you from different counties, say from league and championship. Even though we got we got hammered. By yourselves more, you know, and I always had a grow for 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 Kerry, you know, and I could name all the, like Mark Mark especially, you know, they were, my man, you know, mine should you don't have to say much about that guy, you know, he was just incredible, Mike Mack, you know, um, they were brilliant, brilliant, brilliant people, um, Anthony Lynch, you know, yeah, Cork, sticky yeah. as well, Canty, mm. John Keane, you know, Westmead, West you know, Mead, they were yeah. all, yeah, so you come across. It's like Tomas, you'd be like people don't realize. Like, I, I played for twelve. I played twelve years in Division Four. <laughs> you know, so you come across good lads there that would never be heard of. You know, Kieran Highland from from Wicklow, Shane Briggs in, yeah. in Waterford. You never, they wouldn't be household names. They wouldn't but, get the but by, recognition they deserve either. Like, but, but by James Tomas, when you were going up and up in the corner in Ockram, <laughs> and there's like a Wicklow car in the back or someone at you. <laughs> you know, they're they're tough. You know, but like it, it's, I'd respect all of them, Tomas. But um, the, the Kerry, like obviously Mark and Mine and Lynch and all them were were, yeah, were special yeah. guys, and there was no, there was never dirt or filth anyway. On you know from towards me, which was always, you know, it was always special as well because you're you're going out to beat your man, and, and he was the same. So, um, but you know, obviously we'd love to win one more matches and we got more results out of it. But like, they were special days, Moss. You know, you know yourself. Yeah. It's 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 only now you realize realize how good they were. You know, I know. Yeah, we, and, and we played the, we played in the good. I won't say the good time, but we played in the times when you could have the crack. Yeah. You know what I mean, and you get away with like it. Expected, like yes, and you're not you're not being videoed or twisted or Facebooked <laughs> or Instagram like I that. Remember, no. <laughs> I remember that night in '99. 
uh, the, all the tip lads stayed around after. Oh. You stayed around with a good laugh around the yeah. place after. Yeah. Don't yeah, worry, really like. So, ah, she listened to us, I tell you. She's like, I got we, in trouble to say a night myself, I remember. <laughs> we used to, we used to have a few. That better. We used to have a few good nights before matches, Tomas. That was the problem, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we go away to league, league matches and, oh, Lord, it was. Looking for uh, fellas in the morning. Looking for a own minor. If there was minor lads on it, up for uh, playing challenge matches the same day, there was a few of them called in a couple of times, but. Oh, genuinely, not, not, not <laughs> we will laugh, but you know, we played. I like bought Ted says, No, Ted, we are. Yeah, we, that, we are serious. <laughs> so we played, we played up and down in Newry there one day in Burren, and it was called off into from Newry out to Burren. I know you ever out in Burren, it was a club yeah, field, but I, it like, yeah. oh, just, I looked in the, the bench, there was a few minors there, and you're saying, Why that? And against Derry, <laughs> against Derry and Celtic Park in a league match, and we ended up drawing with them. Few minors yeah. sitting, on, sitting on the bench as well. The Prairie so, always had this canny, like yeah. you'd expect the Prairie to lose. They had no, no fear of going up never, the park, like. Never, no. It's so unreal, like, isn't no. it? No. I'd say we were the, half the boys were calm from the, the night before. We were nice and relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> but we never, no, we never had, the, never had the fear. And then you go down, you play no disrespect to the Watfords and the Leitrams and Longfords, and you get wallops, you know, and that's, that was yeah, always yeah, our, yeah, yeah. our way. But um, I don't know, especially, like you said, now it's kind of, lads are more programmed and they're more. You know, they have to do follow protocol and follow deals. You know what I said? There was off the cuff stuff 10, yeah, 15 yeah, years yeah. ago that you, you'll never replicate, you know. <laughs> you know, so it was great times. Oh, great so times. good memories, my good yeah, memories. Yeah, Come here, yeah. Declan, I could freaking talk to you all night. Super. Um, I'm going to leave you at it. And thanks a million for joining us. It was well worth it. I knew it. Sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I go back to my borough. For going I go in. back to my borough. <laughs> 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 I if there was Wi-Fi inside it. But I enjoyed it, boy. All right? It was a great Fair chat. Play. All the best to all the family and all that, boy. Thanks and I'll so talk to you soon. You too. All right? Good. Thanks, Emil. Good man, Thanks, Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.